Hello, community. Welcome back to Shin's channel. Today, we're going to be listening to a brand new album um, hosted by uh, Numira from Losaka Records. And uh, basically, this album is uh, is a a, a, a Toho remix uh, album where many people will uh, remix a Toho theme, and uh, the and Numira will curate into one album. And here we are today. Uh, this uh, this was an, this album was announced about last uh, previous year, uh, but I think it was November or October. So yeah, uh, it was a long time ago, and I'm, I'm not sure what it, what happens to the mirror. But uh, hey, here we are. Okay, so, don't, I can't blame him for the delay. Okay, uh, I mean the delay is uh, is a part of the uh, the reason uh, for. Uh, I mean, yeah, people here are the reason why the album is delayed as well. Many people haven't uh, finished or even touched their submission. Ooh. And here we are with the first submission from Peps. Uh, pretty cool so far. I really like the main lead and the uh, the overall. Uh, wait, sorry. What is it called when you slide the notes up and down? I'm not sure. I'm not, I'm not, I forgot the term. I fuck. I forgot the term. Um, what is it? Legato? Yeah, legato, legato, legato. Okay. I, I like it. I like the legato. Legato, legato nation. Legato, le, 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 le. Pretty chill. I like it. Whoa. Yeah. I like those. Uh, really sprinkly. Melody that pops up every now and then. Oh, nice um, improvisation and uh, harmony. It's still uh, kind of related to Al Alex's theme, but uh, it is it is uh, improvised a, li a lot. Oh yeah, as you can see, uh, there I am! Chins, call my coaster! Ah <laughs> oh, man... I, uh, I think I took like, I don't know, a month to, to finish that track. You can check it out on my uh, Newgrounds if you want, because I won't be listening to that today. Because the whole album here, 15 people, 15 submissions. Okay, I I would say that it would take me at least one hour to finish this whole album. So I will be skipping my alright, I will I will skip my track. I don't want my viewers to get bored. Here comes the build up. Here comes the lead again. Very nice. Whoa, 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 whoa. Very nice. Um, we just turned into a drum and bass. I mean, but from lo-fi to drum and bass, that's. Oh wait, no, that's narrow bass. Okay, but we we just turned from lo-fi hip hop to narrow bass, like five seconds. I would say this is a, a, a pretty fair transition. There are no like tempo changes. So I shut the fuck up, Discord. I would say this is a pretty cool transition uh, between genres. Very nice. And uh, I can hear the the bass of the neural basses uh, follow the course of progression as well. Not that it just not. I like uh, playing in one single straight note. I like that. Pretty cool ending. Very nice. Wow. First of all, Febs, you are you are an absolute underrated producer. Ok, 
Okay. May I? No. May. Okay. Uh, what? <laughs> what? No way! This guy just turned uh, a very. <laughs> Journal spin. It's supposed to be fun and happy, but what? No way! This guy is just wow. Okay. It was a uh, pretty surprising. That the journal team gets released to, into this kind of orchestral rock metal thingy genre. Okay, alright. Pretty sick of the chill. Whoa! Oh, that's so epic! Wow! Who would have thought? Who would have thought? Wait, 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 what, what? Okay, I thought it was uh, a 3-4 time signature. Nice uh, ha harmony. I kind of like the. Uh, uh, uh. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, let me have some words on the second track from uh, from um, how do I spell? How do I say that name? Uh, this this strider, this strider, this um, this um. I I will let uh, Google Translate uh say that. <laughs> okay. Um, the strider. Nestrida? What is it called? Nestrider. Nestrider, okay. Nestrider. Uh, first of all, very um, <laughs> epic transition from uh, a very typical beloved tomboyish girl to basically this. To be honest, I would uh, only expect these uh, kind of genres apply to like jungle theme, uh, you carries theme, or any final boss theme. Not, uh, not Chiro, but wow, this guy, this guy just knows how to do stuff. All right, I like it. I like it. I really like it. Uh, let's uh, continue, right? Shall we? Uh, wait, I I shouldn't click on the track. Should I? Here we go on Doctor Liu. The moonshine. Pretty cool. Very uh, atmospheric. Pretty basic uh, baseline. So <laughs> it's, like, it's like two notes. <laughs> But I guess that is all um, the liquid uh, from the bass all about, alright? It's all about the simplicity. Uh, 
changes in uh, the melody that gets me up every time, right? It's so good. Pretty cool uh, hi-hats pattern. Pretty simple as well. Whoa! Got some uh, China vibe, yeah? What's it called? What's it called? Uh, is it uh Oh yeah, it is a um, uh, Sakura vibe. This is what we call repetition legitimize. Legitimate. Legitimize. Legitimize. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Wait, wait, wait. wait. No. <laughs> I'm so bad at English. Legitim, uh, legit, legitimize. Repetition legitimize. Repetition legitimize. Not a repetition again, eh? Well, at least uh, the, the, the violin in the background, I assume, is uh, it's changing. So, yeah, that's that. That's something. So it's not completely the same. Here we go to another session here with the choir. I think uh, Dr. Liu is um, in applying uh, orchestra to liquid drum bass, which is something I would not expect. <laughs> Wait, it, is it just me or the audio is getting lower? Ah, well, it's getting quieter, is it? This track is overall. I'm, I'm not trying to be rude or something, but <laughs> it's simple. Yes, um, it is. It is good. Yes. Is it um, boring? Maybe. <laughs> there's. I mean, there's. Uh, there's some special reality in it, but it's forgettable. To be honest. Also, what, what's up with the, the last impact anyway? <laughs> what's up with that? That's so unfitting. Not, what? Nah. Anyway, let's move to the uh, another track, shall we? Um, Prostovic. Timeless Memories. Pretty, <laughs> pretty menacing uh, title right there. Whoa, nice sound effects. Very nice. That, that is, there are lots of elements in the background. Wow, here comes the art chord. Is it just me or have, have we been listening to like three, <laughs> three drum and basses uh, tracks all, already? Like for the first four tracks only has three drum and bass. Like what? Oh, here we go with the main, whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, it changes the uh, the uh, polymeter. 
Oh wait, no, that's falling rhythm. Fuck. I, I sometimes mistook the two terms together. Certain change can be pretty cool. This part needs some bass, I guess. Oh, here comes the breakdown. Oh, I see. This guy applies many uh, tempo changes. Is it in triplet right now? I... Yeah, maybe. I must say, breakcore is a pretty whack genre, okay? Uh. <laughs> I don't know why, but I just love it, okay? It sounds suck as fuck, but I love it. slowing down okay all right um pretty cool track one, one notable thing is the uh, the tempo changes and that's about <laughs> that's about it and um also the, uh, the 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 genre shift as well pretty nice you like it uh affinity Affinity, I suppose that's how you pronounce it. Unlucky fruit. Whoa! <laughs> yeah, let's let's rave, everybody. Wait, another Alex theme, really? kind of breakdowns where you have the the art as the uh, the art uh, playing the board broken in the background and the main lead as the big piano that's the best breakdown I can hear okay <clears throat> and in my opinion everybody welcome to our show I don't know how to be a DJ, okay? So I'm just saying rubbish. <laughs> We're keeping the finals for the best part. Here we go. One, two, three. I love house. 
or idiom in general. <laughs> I guess it's a progressive house. I like this kind of a progressive house, to be honest. I really love What can I say? What can I say? I fucking love it. <laughs> no more, no more words can decide uh, can describe it. I love it. Okay. Oh whoa. <laughs> oh here, here is my. Um, I, 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 I suppose um, I, I will be skipping this, but I will let you guys hear from uh, a little of a, a part of the track. Okay. This um a moon bathroom or moon bath core track. Uh, it's a pretty cool, but in my opinion, it's um, it's still bad. It's it's really bad. And compared to the five tracks that we've been listening to, this this could be one of the worst. I I just I just don't like what I make. Okay, it's just like come on, it's just so bad. Okay, I will let you guys hear a review. But I kind of like the, the last part of the song. Kind of like the improvisation of it. So yeah, that's basically the track. Um, it's supposed to be the, a full Moon Baffin track, but um, I made some orchestration at the end. <laughs> uh, some uh, atmosphere, as atmospheric. Uh, what is the genre called? At I think it's atmosphere music, right? I don't know. Oh. Uh... Oh, kind of kind of spooky. Kind of cool as well. I suppose this is um, a, like a techno track, the techno core, techno dub, dub techno. <laughs> Ooh, let's rave. Ooh, this guy is trying to be like dead mouse or something. Name is Silent Dope. <laughs> Very dope name, Silent Dope. <laughs> oh, I know it's Lilin, Lilson, Lilson Dope, Lilson Dope. <laughs> Sorry, Lilson Dope. Listen, 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 Lincoln, Lincoln Dope, Lincoln Dope, maybe Lincoln Dope, Lincoln, Lincoln. Has a, uh, an accent bass, kind of catchy uh, bass line as well. Here comes the hi hat. Why not? But it's chilling, so I'm I be vibing. A 
thick on the mid end, on the mid side of, yeah. But it, it is not like excessive fall, so it is acceptable. some spicy corks. And here comes the ending. <laughs> uh, the, the, uh, the, The producer just kind of decided to just slowly mute the track instead of just making any outro. <laughs> I mean, it's a it's 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 a it's a it's a reasonable outro, but we're not living in the eighties anymore, guys. We're not okay. Uh, Necro Venoria, Ven Necro Ven v Necro Veronica. Ooh. Marabell three Marabell V Mage. Very spooky. Oh, here we go. Uh, the the pitch uh, shift. Wait, is this is it, is this is this guy using Toho instrument like sound ponds? Sounds like it. The drum set sounds very Toho-ish. Whoa. Use some more bases. <laughs> Whoa, what happened here? Wait, is my audio going crazy or the drums just. What happened there? I. What? I don't get it. I didn't get it. This, this track could use some more bass, okay? Well, I could hear some loud uh, low notes, but it's not entirely bass, okay? That doesn't make up, okay? FL keys? Really? Okay, uh, I mean, it's acceptable. <laughs> oh yeah. Whoa! Whoa, ho ho, here we go. Whoa, did not suspect that. Is this a uh, flute? Ooh.
harmonization. Nice uh, drum pattern as well. It's pretty unique. This is exclusive or anything, but um, I wonder to myself as well. I ask myself this question: Do rice need to be side chain or not? Because if, if you play it on a, a drum, you, uh, the rice isn't side chain or any of the uh, stuff right there, or not even the hi hat or the flashes. Okay, none of those get side chain. But in the context of the electric. Electronic music do rise get side chain. I, I ask myself that question as well because it sometimes clashes with the kick uh, high frequency, you know. So that's not a really a good sign in my opinion. Oh, whoa. Improvisation. I like it. I can buy to it. Ooh. Ooh. Pretty cool uh, key change. Nice break, nice free drop. A good idea to use the bass as a piano. <laughs> Whoa. Pretty uh, surprising uh, change in uh, mood wise. It's volume a little bit, okay? Uh, so it doesn't really clash with the, the main overall sound of the drop, right? Like the main focus here is the lead, not the piano. Not, it's, it is the, the licks, the, the synth lead right here, not the piano. So you should lower its volume, all right? It's distracting. Oh, that's what I mean. <laughs> uh, Hello, Zing, my man, my man. If you didn't know, Zing is a, a member of Iridori group. Circle, I guess you hit a circle. And 
he's he's uh, he's, uh, he's known for his very fast paced music. Is this uh, his thing going for hardcore? I can hear a violin in the background. Whoa! Well, that's a sudden change to the chip too. Whoa! What the hell? What is this guy doing? <laughs> what? Oh, he goes hardcore, chip tune, and hardcore. Wow. Boy, hardcore dance is like. Woo! transition from one session to another it's um it's a bit too sudden <laughs> I would say um, it's not a big deal but um, oh wait yeah it is a big deal okay transition is a big deal <laughs> you don't have it <laughs> you get lost oh
what the fuck just happened? <laughs> serious? <laughs> serious? Let me ask you a question. <laughs> serious? <laughs> Let me ask you this. Okay? Would you like a promotion? Because you are goddamn underrated. That's for sure. Okay? Serious? I I promise you I will fucking Now just let's just do it now, okay? Yeah, let's do it now. Fuck fuck it. Alright, uh, just fuck it. <laughs> oh god. I will send you that. <laughs> okay. I mean wow, just just wow. I I did not expect that at all. Mm. I did not expect that at all. Alright? I I love you. <laughs> wow. Uh, I will do that later, okay? But you, you deserve a promotion. You deserve more than this, serious, okay? You deserve it, all right? I'm speechless, all right? It was just fucking professional, all right? Wow. Let's continue, shall we? So Sola Sola Rolo, uh, a pretty uh, act, uh, an active fellow from Newgrounds audio server. Yeah, audio server. Your some sub base.
the classic hardcore. Well, this is my this remind this will really reminds me of that one Yu Yu called hardcore track. It, it sounds very similar. Also, this part sounds a, a lot like Cena from Spurs. I won't, I, I, I won't be surprised if uh, Solar Solar Alone was inspired by him. Kind of a basic baseline. Definitely for the, uh, the outro. So really, the, this part is the same as the intro, correct? Yeah. Um, I have I, ha I have some suggestion for the second drop, being that you have the the, the saw wave course as right. And you've got the the main dubstep bass, right? So I would suggest that you use the. Uh, the... Wait. I will. You, I will suggest you using that 808 or that bass uh, to uh, to match the the saw wave pattern, and the 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 stuff the dubstep bass can have its own bass, right? Yeah. So for variation purpose, okay, um, because the bass there is kind of simple. It plays like one note. It plays literally one note. <laughs> anyway, let's move on, shall we? Uh, Rasa, Razor, Double the Ego. Whoa, what is this? Wait, wait, wait. La, la, la. Oh, Chimata theme, right? Chimata? I guess. Wait, no. <gasps> Wait, uh, Joe, Joe, Joe and Shion, Joe and Shion. Ah, 15.5. Kind of quiet and compared to other tracks. What the? Wow! Really? Oh, sick pick though. Pretty, pretty sick pick. But goddamn, uh, it's so uh, quiet. It's so goddamn quiet. Oh, I like the variation of kicks. We've been playing like at least five kicks right now. Pretty um, basic production so far. Just uh, the lead, the, the, the right, and the kick. Could use some arpeggio. Or flaps or snare on the upbeats. Pretty cool breakdown though. I like how the snare follows the um, the pattern, the melody pattern.
Very nice. Oh, here it comes. <laughs> so this is uh, me basically the intro, but uh, without uh, the low end. <laughs> oh, here comes the crap. Finally. Well, this goes to from hardcore to speedcore real fast. One thing that I appreciate is how the kick goes well with the melody, okay? It just doesn't go like bum 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 bum. No, it doesn't go like that. It goes with the melody. And um, what is going on? Where is the audio? Where the Where's the rest of the audio? What the fuck is going on? What will happen on the 420? I mean, <laughs> 402. What will happen in the next 10 seconds? I don't know. What the fuck is going on? Why is there an emptiness on the last part of the track like is that all the audio <laughs> what what happened there dj orca violin whoa well that was a thick kick very nice sounding Oh, six chords, six chords. Kind of muddy on the mid side. Yeah, kind of muddy. But maybe this uh, was the kick. Maybe it, yeah, it was a kick. Some some hardcore kick can be very very weird on the mid side to be honest. Because it's hardcore. Who the fuck cares? Okay? We just rave. <laughs> Here comes. Hey. stuff going on um, again nothing for the outro again really come on you got like 30 fucking seconds left what the heck man why don't you cut it why won't you cut it 
Oh, God damn it. I mean, it was uh, Namira's fault as well for not checking. <laughs> you gotta check the audio, man. What the fuck? Nine minutes and ten seconds. Alright. Alright. Okay. I would. I can take it. This is the last track after all. Um, whoever has, has made this far into the video, I like you guys. I love you all, okay? I really appreciate your efforts to watch to this <laughs> far. Let me clean my uh, glasses real quick, real quick. I know Yes! I love this kind of music! It's simple, but it's so fucking chill! It's so cool! Especially the lead as well! You know when the lead has this uh, pretty cool uh, pitch... Uh, I don't know what's it called, what, I don't know what's the term for it... But um, the pitch with, with uh, a, a raised pitch... Uh, attack! Uh, uh, that, that's what it is. A, a race pitch attack. I think this lead is used a lot in uh, some of our track on no copyrighted sounds. Pretty cool. Oh, I'm liking it. I'm liking it so far. Ooh. I'm getting a ride going with the beat 2 and 4. That's kind of cool. I haven't heard that before. Oh yeah. I like the, I like the Legato as well. mind the repetition because this is house music, okay? But still, you gotta keep up with the vibe, okay? Uh, sometimes you gotta add some elements like ups, up geo, or change the melody up or down, you know? Just to keep the mood. Wait, this is the same part as before, right? Really? Don't tell me this whole 9 minutes is such that pattern and just gets repeated twice. Oh hell yeah! This is not so bad, but um, it's uh, it gets <laughs> it can get bored sometimes. Oh, this could uh, really use as a background music to be honest. Like the music when uh, you listen when you do homework. Oh. That's what I'm saying, a, ch a change in the melody. 
Very nice. Nice improvisation. Hey. Whoa. Ah, oh, how what? Where, why did uh, a dubstep bass just come in? Right? Why? Is it uh, telling us something is going to happen? some uh, fills or effects in between the melody, you know, the, the gaps, you know, could use some sound effects between them. Oh, hell yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Raise up that, raise that motherfucker up one semitone. This is the end of the song, okay? Alright. Uh, the, for the next 64, 64 bars, it's gonna be the same as the last part. But raised up one semitone. Oh dear. Now I get why this track is one nine fucking minutes. <sighs> There's some variation to it. Pretty nice. It's not entirely the same, so I appreciate that effort into changing it. Very nice. Funny how it, it got all the quality that I needed on the, on the first half, you know? I, like previously, I said, you need some arcs, you need to raise the melody up, and here it, here it is. Some arcs, some uh, melody really got raised up. Like, wow, I did not expect that. <laughs> it's like, it, it, it listens to me. It can hear me talking, okay? It can listen to my feedback and it changes itself. <laughs> Very cool how you got the uh, the main theme melody uh, playing in the background. Here comes the outro. And that's it for today's video guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I really enjoyed this uh, album so far, okay? I really like it. Uh, if I had to rate it, I would have to rate it individually, okay? I can't just rate the whole album as a whole because this album isn't made by one person or two. It's made by 15 and there are even me is in it. All right? I can't rate it as a whole. So if I were to rate it individually, Feb would be 8 out of 10. Uh, the Strider, the Strider is, uh, is that um, orchestra? Yeah, orchestra. Uh, maybe eight as well. Doctor Lu, uh, what, what is up to? Oh yeah, uh, Doctor Lu is uh, six out of ten. Uh, Pacific. 
Oh yes, this this. Oh yeah, it has this pretty cool break hole as well. I would say seven. Uh, Affinity, a uh, lucky fruit, kind of cool. Okay, kind of cool. I would say. Got some uh, vibe to it. I will give it nine, a nine. All right. Uh, 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 this I would I will give it a one. It's just so bad. Uh, let's look at though. Uh, kind of mysterious and uh, but in a cool way. I will give it a seven. Yep, a seven. Necro Venora three. Oh, uh, the, this. I will give it... There isn't much of uh, energy to it, but that's... I guess that's the overall mood for, of the track, alright? So... But it lacks bass. I know Toho font or sound fonts lacks... Uh, I mean, the bass is kind of weak. But you gotta raise it up. That's your fucking job, man. <laughs> nah, no, no offense, no offense. But literally, I can, I cannot, I cannot hear any bass right here. Okay, yeah. So, oh god, I will give it a seven. That's it. Uh, the a pretty cool mood, but un pretty unfortunate. Uh, kush, kush. What can I rate? Uh, what, 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 what would you guys think about a song that started with LFL keys? It's not bad. It's not bad. I would say uh, seven. Sing. Kinda cool. Uh, overall, like if if we were if we if I were to judge parts uh, session uh, like one by one, I would say is uh, it's very clean, it's very nice, it's a nine. But the transition is kind of unfortunate, uh, so it's an eight. It's an eight overall. Serious, hey, my man. Show me what you got. My man, you got this. <laughs> you you get me? You got this. Ten out of ten. Salalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalalal